Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Microsoft Store error code 0x803f8001 that the game is currently not available for your account. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do here would just be open up the Start menu, type in PowerShell, Best result, should come back with Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. I'm going to have a few commands in the description of the video here, guys. So you want to go copy the first one. It starts with get minus sign app x package. And then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select Edit, and then select Paste to paste it in. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. And then once you have a blinking cursor, you're going to go ahead and type in the second command. Again, copy that. Go up to the top bar of the PowerShell window. Right click on it. Select Edit. And then select Paste to paste it in. Let this one run as well. And then once you have a blinking cursor, go ahead and restart your computer. And now once your computer has restarted, go ahead and open up the Start menu again. Type in PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that. Run as Administrator. Going to go ahead and select Yes. And we're going to paste in the third command here. And then we're going to run a DISM command. So that will be underneath the get apex package all users command that we just ran. Well, there's a couple all users command, but it'll be the fourth and final command for this video. So go ahead and copy that. Top bar of the PowerShell window, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in.
Okay, so I should say the restore operation completed successfully. Go ahead and close out of here and restart the computer once again. Okay guys, once you've restarted, attempt to open up the Microsoft Store again and hopefully your issue should have been resolved. If you're still having a problem with the Microsoft Store, you can just try a complete reset of it. And just in order to do that, um, just type in to the start menu, WS Reset. Best results should come back with WS Reset. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. And give it a moment here. And it should relaunch the Microsoft Store once it's been reset here. And there you go, guys. Should be simple as that. You can sign back into your Microsoft account or Microsoft Store account, and that should hopefully be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.